Oh my god. I'm a mess. Okay. What a drama. I have arrived. I'm in New York. Um, very long journey, but I'm here now and it was a, like, apart from being long, it was a fine journey. Really, really cold on the plane, so I'm like freezing from the bones um, and I just can't get warm. And I get to my hotel, so excited to just get to my room, get comfortable. No, 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 no. Big chaotic check-in experience. Um, I stayed at this hotel when I last stayed in New York and I liked it, so I came back. Let me tell you, I won't be back. But I'm in my room now and it's lovely. Um, we're not gonna go into it, you know? It's a new day. It's not a new day, technically, but like tomorrow is a new day. But I'll give you a quick room tour. So you come in the door. Then you have this big mirror. God, I look awful. <laughs> I can't wait to get showered. Anyway, you have this big mirror. And then you also have this big mirror. And not to sound big headed, but this is quite literally why I love this hotel so much. Because you also then have this big mirror and the girlies know it's just nice to have different mirrors different options different lighting you know and then as you come in here you have the bed this is all wardrobe space you have the tv and the desk then this little seating area this little bit over here and then a nice little windowy bit where I've put the cushions so that I can have my little window seat with my semi view of Times Square. Uh, so yeah. I need to fucking eat something so that I can feel a bit more normal. So I just had some rice in here and now I'm about to have this little like tofu broccoli stir fry situ. Great setup. We've got my little window seat here with Times Square view and I just feel very happy to be here now that I'm settling in. I'm gonna go unpack, shower and hit the sack. Hit the hay. Good morning. It is the next day. It is Wednesday today, so it's my first official day in New York City, baby. I'm so excited to be here. I'm thrilled. I'm running on four hours of sleep, but I feel great. I've never felt better. Um, yeah, after last night's slightly stressful um, events, I'm just very, very happy to be here. And I can't wait to start my day. Well, I have already started my day, but I can't wait to like go out and about. So I got up at five, went to the gym from like half five till seven, came home, FaceTime mum, went out to Whole Foods and got some bits and pieces. And now I am about to get ready. Tonight, I'm going to see Sabrina Claudio. I'm gonna cry. I can't believe it. I'm so fucking excited. Like literally can't wait. Um, yeah, let's get ready. Guys, nice. I'm wearing low rise trousers today for the first time in my life, and I'm scared. I don't know how you low rise girlies do it, okay? It's very intimidating, but I'm gonna do it. I've even got a belly chain, feeling like Shakira. I'm ready for my close up. Um, no, I'm ready for the day. So let's go over the outfit deets, shall we? We have this belly chain, it's just from Amazon. Then we have my Aloe Soft wrap bra, obviously from Aloe, um, which is super cute at the back. Ooh. And then these I bought on Depop. The brand is called Indian Rose. And it's just like low-rise cargoes. Let me show you in a full-length mirror. Okay, so low-rise cargoes from Indian Rose. And then belly chain. And my top is from Aloe. And then I just have my black and white Air Force on. Nasty. He ain't keeping his hands up off my ass cheeks. 
I got something to give him And if he asks me, I'm not feeling the baby Bro, dang, bro, they ain't really as loud as us I be hoping that it's love, but it really just be the lust Anything for a rush now, it's been Okay, I'm in Sephora. This is the only shop that's open currently. I'm not sure who named this place the city that never sleeps, because let me tell you, it sleeps and it sleeps good. Everything is shut at 10 p.m. and nothing opens again until 10 a.m. So it's literally like a 12 hour sleep. So the city does sleep. Um, it's almost 10 now, but Sephora opens at nine. So I'm in here now, just browsing around. There's a couple things I have in mind that I want to pick up, so I'll pick them up. Um, but yeah, I've picked up another lip mask because I have the original. I don't know how you say the brand name. Is it Laneige? Laneige? You know the one. Uh, I bought the original and I really do like the original so far. I've used it twice. Aha! I do like it, but it's not my favourite smell in the world, whereas I like vanilla. So I bought the vanilla one. And then. Sydney Sweeney, I'm obsessed. Anything and everything she does, I'm just obsessed with. And she is the face of Laneige, Laneige, you know, same brand at the minute. And this is the moisturizer she's using. So if that means that when I use this moisturizer, I look a bit more like her, then that's exactly what I'm going for. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. Do you want to with us? No. Okay. Oh. okay, we're now in VS. I just came in here to pee, really. But, you know, I'll browse while I'm here. Okay, so we have this, this new fragrance thing called Bear. And I might have to buy it. I'm in love with it. It smells so, so, so good. Okay. I'm in Aritzia. Now, if you've never been to Aritzia before, they are so good at making you spend money. Because you go around and pick things up, and then they make a changing room for you and then you feel like you have to try everything on and then if you like it, you want to buy it and if you don't like it, you don't want to make poor girl go and put it back. So, they really know how to make you spend your peas in here. But I've got loads of comfy things to try on, so let's, let's try not to go too wild. So comfy. It's a need, not a want. How's it going? Oh, good, thank Ooh, you. Sorry. I like that color. It's such a nice color. Yeah. I do really like it. And these, the, the butter. Yeah. Yeah. This material. Yeah. It's. I have like the shorts in blue, and I can't mm -hmm. stop wearing them. Yeah. They're so comfy. They feel like the Lulu Vines, yes. but like the softer. Like and then these nice. Yeah. yeah. This material i think it's called like the tna butter soft it's so fucking comfortable i can't get enough of it you guys oh itchy immediately no concept of these. I like the idea of a leather pad, but these don't fit nicely. It's a no from me. Okay, so I knew I wanted to just walk towards the water, so I did just that. Not really sure exactly where I wanted to end up, but I have ended up at Pier 26. So I am just sitting here on this little blue chair reading My Body by M. Rata. I have basically had this book in my possession for such a long time, been desperate to read it for such a long time since it came out, but never ever did because it didn't feel like the right place or time because the right place and time felt like in New York. And so I kept saying like, I'm gonna go back to New York and that's when I'll read this. And here I am reading it, delightful. This is my view. Hi, hello. I am about to go see Sabrina Claudio at Radio City Hall. That's the name of it, right? I think that's the name of it. I'm about to go see Sabrina Claudio is the point. I'm so excited. 
I have a super beautiful dress on. I'm obsessed with it. I'll show you in the mirror. I'm running slight, well, I'm not running late, but like I want to leave now um, because I want to be there for doors opening just so I can like sit and chill. But I'll show you my outfit and then we can leave. Okay, time for me to go. I'll see you after. Okay, I'm so excited. Ah! My goodness. Hello, everyone. The last time we spoke was last night before I went to see Serena Claudio at Radio City Hall. I really need to hydrate. Wow. First drink since this morning. That hits, hits different. Went to see Sabrina Claudio, I shit you not, the walk there was the most main character moment moment I've ever had in my life. I was wearing heels in the dress, sure, yeah, it was Wednesday night, but this is New York City. There's always a party going on somewhere. I literally, the number of people who either were staring or who said, look at her shoes or who said look at what she's wearing and it was just like nerve-wracking I felt like a bit like I was on the runway but also I didn't hate it because even if they were making that comment negatively I knew I looked good so I was like whatever and the best part about yesterday was the girls I met I would just like to say if you're contemplating con uh, if you're contemplating complimenting god that was a tongue twister if you're complimenting oh if you're <laughs> am i drunk if you're contemplating complimenting another girl please do it i complimented lots of girls yesterday yet lots of girls complimented me and it was just the best feeling ever so i made a whole bunch of new friends at sabrina claudio and one new friend in aritzia the girl who was checking me out not checking me out the girl who was helping me out at Aritzia, an angel, her name was Millie, and we followed each other on Instagram. And then, oh my god, the girl's bathroom at Sabrina Claudio, unreal. Literally just like 50 girls and everyone looking at each other being like, you look amazing. No, you look amazing. I love your dress. Oh my god, don't be silly. I love your hair. Oh my god, your makeup is the most amazing. Like, it was just the best vibes. And I love it here, because at home that doesn't happen. At home, girls are too busy giving me dirty looks, okay? Huh. But anyway, the concert was amazing, but it was really fucking cold in there. Like, air-conditioned, but like, just cold. It wasn't pleasant. But Sabrina Claudio herself, ah, oh, to die for. Literally the hottest human being ever. Like, that girl has sex appeal. And the vocals like genuinely vocals like I have never heard before it just no words simply amazing and today so random one of my friends from school who I haven't actually seen properly in years Harry texted me last night like hey I see you're in NYC I'm here too shall we meet up I was like yeah so today I walked into Brooklyn I met Harry and we went to L Train Vintage Beacon's Closet and Urban Jungle, all vintage shops in Brooklyn. I would highly, highly recommend L Train Vintage and Urban Jungle, but I didn't really like Beacon's Closet. Also, I've got my favorite shoesies on. Can you see them? That's so helpful of me. Then I just wandered and then I have come back to the hotel to charge my phone. Oh wait, I went to an earring shop. I'll show you what I picked up. And now I'm just here to charge my phone and then I'm gonna go read for a bit in Central Park, get some dinner, watch a movie and have an early night. Cause I'm running on between four and five hours of sleep the last three nights, which is not optimal. But I'm still going. This, this is a great angle. Is this little two piece from RUMI. 
Um, I did an Are You A My haul video where you can you can see it in there if you want to go look. But it's the Etsy skirt and the Kai bra. And then my favourite shoes, my Naked Wolf sliders in rose. Ooh. One thing I will say about this outfit, it's anything but practical. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I'm acting as if I didn't just buy them. I know what they look like, but I forgot since I walked home. Wow, so cute, right? I know, I thought so too. I'm not in focus, focus on me. Just some little tiny circles. Cute, right? Some Turkish eye rings. I think you can see, right? These little ones for my mom, because I just thought they were really pretty. And then my auntie really likes Turkish eyes too. And so I got her this necklace. Ooh, I could be a neck model. Should I pursue it? Yeah. Say I'm not kiss nobody, but I got my lip gloss on. I think I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. Oh. It was so lovely to catch up with you. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Thank you for watching. See you next time on Dinner Endel's channel. <laughs> Wait.